What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the newest build. This is a 2022 Ram 2500 Cummins diesel and I ended up going with the Tradesman and I actually traded in my Gladiator. I kind of cut that build short. I ended up needing something heavy duty because I bought an old farmhouse so I'm going to need this for hauling a lot of stuff so I had to had to trade in the Gladiator, but with the the way it worked out, it actually went in my favor. So I ordered this one, um, you know, exactly how you see it, and I actually didn't have to pay any markup, and because the market's so crazy, I almost got what I paid for the Gladiator. So I'm happy with that. Uh, shout out to Devin at Hendershot and Champagne, but just wanted to show you guys before we get started on the build, how I spec'd it out, what I paid. So if you notice, I didn't really get anything too fancy. I went with the, just the basic tradesman, basic package. Uh, there were a couple options that were important, like the cab lights, and then I'll show you the interior in a second. But I opted not to go with the chrome package. I didn't get any fancy wheels or anything. Because I plan on changing those out. Same with the headlights. But I do like the color. I ended up going with the olive green. As you see, it looks a little different in the sunlight. A lot lighter. But yeah, just, just the basic tradesman on the outside. But if you come inside, I think this is where you, you know, where you want to choose wisely. Because I got the carpet which is an option you can get the rubber so if you're just going to use this as a work truck then you know that might be something you want but they've definitely come a long ways in the last 10 years as far as your base model trucks go I was able if you look to get the 8.4 Uconnect and then you know all black interior headliners black no LEDs that's all easy stuff to change and then if you take a look in the back, once again, nothing special. Um, it's nice having a full-size cab again. But, I mean, you still have the vents. You still have, uh, let's see if you can check that out, a little cubby hole. Nothing too crazy. Um, pop this up. Hopefully we got the kid's seat, but you got some storage down there. And then it's also nice to have a 6.4 bed instead of the little five footer that was in the Jeep. Go ahead and shut this. Do a full walk around. It's unfortunate you can't really do much about that anymore. And actually, I'm not. This is my first diesel I've ever had, so you know, feel free to give me some suggestions in the comments. But I just wanted to go over this real quick, show you guys what we we're gonna get started on. And as always, I appreciate everyone watching, and stay tuned for more on the shoot Ram 2500 build.